Okay, so this little short clip is called Separation Happens, and my point is only that if you take data um, that is not separable in low dimensions, you can very often project it to a higher dimensional space where you can actually separate it. Okay, this is not to say you always want to do this, it's just to, just to show you the power of going to higher dimensions. Okay, so I generated a data set, and my data set was actually randomly generated, um, and I generated so that it's not separable in the low dimensional space. So you could try to take your hand and, and put a hyperplane, I guess like this, you could try to put a hyperplane down that would try to separate the positives and the negatives, but you won't be able to do it because there is no hyperplane that separates the positives from the negatives. Now, this particular data set was constructed so that if I add a specific third dimension, namely the first dimension to the fifth power, then it actually does become separable. Okay, so let me show you a little bit about um, how that works. So I'm gonna just take the, the data and I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna project the data into a higher dimensional space. So x1, x2, and then the third dimension is x1 to the fifth power. Okay, so here I'm, I've got here f, x1 to the fifth on the, the, the um, vertical axis there. And now I'm gonna try and rotate it, which I'm not being very successful at at the moment. Um, there, I think I got it. Yeah, so if you rotate, there are certain dimension, um, certain ways you can rotate it where it actually would be separable. Um, oh, this way, <laughs> that way on your screen. Um, yeah, so it would be, would be actually separable by um, a hyperplane in this three-dimensional space. Okay, so separation happens. If you take data in low dimensions, you can very often project it into higher dimensions where you can actually separate it with a hyperplane.